VW Faithful. My name is Drew Diamond, and I'm a, I'm a commentator. I have been for a long time, but I guess VW Prestige for Night 1 will go down as a kind of a turning point in my career where people got to see a slightly different side of Drew Diamond than they're used to, that being, you know, Hit Kid Worldwide and and Robert McNichols. They got to see a, uh, a side of me that they didn't expect to see. But the big question, the big overarching question is why? The Dream Board of Directors has asked me to address what I did at Prestige because they're going to punish me in a way because of what I did. Now, what I did is, is very important because it, a comment was made on commentary that I have no love loss for the Mutiny Mafia, and that is correct. I don't care for the Mafia. I think they're a bunch of egotists and all that except for one member but uh, he knows who he is my actions were not to take any spotlight away from anyone it wasn't to try to capture any glory or any of that it was to help somebody who desperately needed it in a situation that was far beyond what I what was expected do I understand that I've made myself a possible target? Absolutely. But, you know what? I've never shied away from a little bit of controversy every once in a while. Because, as one great man once said, controversy creates cash. But, so, let me, let me lay it out for you. Let me put all the cards on the table and let me tell you what led to me walking out on that stage in in New Jersey as the Canadian Arabian Muhako Hassan I had been I I had gotten tickets to go see the show I was sitting in the crowd and Deshaun Walton knew I was there and me and Deshaun had talked many times about you know him having an involvement in in dream and all that, and we, you know, hit it off, and we're pretty good friends. To the point we exchanged phone numbers. And I was sitting watching the show, and as the main event was unfolding, I get a text message on my phone saying, Hey, meet me at the concession area. I go and meet Deshaun, and he tells me, We need to do something about the Mafia. They're starting to become a bit of a nuisance. So... He's like, come with me. And he takes me into the backstage area and into one of the locker rooms where stands Chris Hero. And me, Chris Hero, and Deshaun Walton then proceeded to hatch a plan to help Charles Schultz win his match. We never got directly involved in ever touching his brother. Except for Deshaun, but that's another story entirely. I had one single goal. Take whatever Mutiny Mafia member was in my path and beat the crap out of them. And I did that. And I did it in convincing and definitive fashion. But... The underlying problem I have with the Mutiny Mafia goes way deeper than that. I am the commentator and talent scout for a company called Dream Pro Wrestling. It has not debuted officially yet, but it's been doing its live circuit around the world. Or around the world. And my brother is a part of that company. And Tom Doyle and his merry band of idiots decided to weasel their way into Dream. And my brother, who was the heavyweight champion at the 
time, decided it would be a, a fantastic idea to drop the title unknowingly, unexpectedly, to Tom Doyle. In exchange for being a part of the Mutiny Mafia. And Jason, you know who you are. So, I don't even need to get into that. But, that is why I have a deep-seated hatred for the Mutiny Mafia. And I know that's going to probably get me into some trouble, and I'm probably going to have to answer for my crimes, and uh, whatever. I'm not that worried about it. However, I am worried about what my actions are going to... Or what the Dream Board of Directors are going to do in regards to my actions at, at Prestige. Seeing how I'm not under contract with VW. But I have a loyalty to this industry. I have a loyalty to all co companies. And I hate when a group of people decide to just run roughshod over a company and devalue it in such a violent way that it just creates nothing but strife, drama, and overall bullshit. Mutiny Mafia, AWOL, Blood Trail, The Syndication, all these groups have one thing in common. They are made solely not for... Not to push forward the company and make it better and all that. No, it's for their own selfish goals and their own selfish vanity. It's to make them look good. Fuck everybody else. I'm not about that. I'm about everybody gets a shot. Everybody gets an opportunity. Just like I've been given an opportunity. I got helped by people. I got help behind the scenes to get to where I am right now. I would not be a commentator right now if it wasn't for people stepping up and believing in me and putting my name forward. I owe a debt to those people. Charles, I don't know you. You don't know me. But I don't I don't care. You know me now. You know me as a friend. You know you can rely on me. If you, Like I said in my tweet to you, if you need me to lace up a pair of boots and stand side by side with you and throw fists, I'll be there. If you need me to put on a suit, sit at a commentary desk and put your ass over like nobody's ever put your ass over before, then I'll be there. But I will not stand idly by and let some piece of shit try to take a title under dubious means and you don't think I'm going to do something about it? Let what happened at Prestige be a little bit of a message. No, no, not a message. More of a warning. To every one of those little pieces of shit in the blood trail, the syndication, and the mutiny fucking mafia. It's only going to take a few of us to rip through Every last single one of you till you're so irrelevant that nobody's going to even remember your names. I am so happy that I had a part to play at Prestige. Because it put me on the map. It put me out there. People know who I am now. And they know <laughs> I'm more than just a commentator. So Dream Board of Directors, if you want to fire me, fine, go ahead. I can find work somewhere else. If you want to suspend me, go ahead. Again, I can find work somewhere else. But my actions were the right thing to do and to hell with affiliations. I will do always the right thing. It might not, it might not be the popular thing, but it's the right thing. That is my ex explanation. That is why I did what I did at Prestige. That's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. And uh, have a great day.